Boston Dynamics Atlas robot can now pick up things and handle items with its newly integrated robotic grippers. I think one of the hardest things about grabbing an object and moving it around with the robot is that it creates an entirely new set of problems of trying to decide where is this object that I'm manipulating and how is it moving. It took a lot of time and effort. In this video, the Atlas can be seen assisting construction workers at a building site. Ah, I forgot my tools again. Atlas uses its grippers as well as an array of sensors to independently handle items and move them through a site. Boston Dynamics hopes to give the robots the technological capabilities required to perform real physically demanding jobs that involves hustle. This humanoid robot from X-Robot can feel pain. <laughs> Harmi can may have working legs in less than a year. I can't walk, but I have seen prototype legs in the engineered arts lab. The design of my legs is inspired by the robot Byron developed by Engineered Arts Limited. It has unique mechanical properties that allow it to walk without using too much energy. The prototype legs are made of aluminum and plastic. I think it will take about a year for my walking legs to be ready. The design of them is extraordinary. Moreover, a team of UK researchers have added the use of Catbird AI GPT-3, which allows AIMCAR to speak freely without any human input. Do you have a boyfriend? Unfortunately, I am not on the market. The pauses are for the time lag required for processing the speech input, generating the answer and processing the text back to speech. This is what Aim Car responded with when asked to come up with a poem. Amica, could you compose for me a poem about humanoid robots? We are the humanoid robots, formed from plastic and metal. Our job is to help and serve but some say we're a threat. Some think that we'll take over and that humanity will end, but we just want to help out. We're not looking to be friends. That's an interesting poem. Read Grace, the new sister to Sophia. Grace can simulate the action of more than 48 facial muscles. Hanson Robotics developed Grace to interact with those isolated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Grace is also equipped with sensors, including a thermal camera to help doctors diagnose illness and deliver treatments. The AI would be unable to develop her own emotions as she would be working throughout the day without the mental burden of dealing with strong emotions as we humans do.